Well, I'm glad this is finally out in the open. Doesn't make things any better, though, does it? You paid a big price to help a friend. I'm worried about her, Felicia. I'm worried about Bobby. She must be a basket case by now. Unless Robert hasn't found her. Oh, he's found her. You can count on that. Poor Bobby. You know, she's gonna need some friends and some support. Maybe we ought to go home and be there in case... I sort of feel like a third wheel here. Maybe more like the fifth wheel, I guess, huh? Well, you know, she, she confided in you. There must be a reason why she didn't trust me to confide in me. So you don't want to go home and talk with her or help her? I just don't feel like it's my place to do that. Hi. 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 Uh, um, why, why don't you go and get us some, uh, some, uh, Cookies. We need some cookies. Yeah, we need to get some cookies. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Take it. You seen Robert? Yeah, he came to the brownstone looking for Bobby. He was very intense. I can't believe the way he's behaved over all of this. He's doing his job, Anna. Oh, I yes, I understand what his responsibilities are. Well, he's trying to remove his emotions. Take it from somebody who knows. From life, he's trying to remove his emotions. I would have appreciated a little compassion. I mean, if only to reassure us that he actually is a human being. I know what you mean. Look, so much for Robert. My concerns are with Bobby. Can't imagine how she feels at the moment. I can't imagine how Tony's gonna take this. Save your breath. She's not. She has to be here. She lives here. You think she's going to come back after what you she did has to her? my child. Cheryl, I that know you're enough. here. It is enough. What Bobby, is it? what is it? What's going on? Have you on? seen Cheryl and Lucas? They're not home. Where do they go? Bobby, get hold of you. Where son. did they go? Don't just leave her alone. Hey, what are you leave doing, Tony? What's the matter with you? She needs some help. You're a part of the problem. You're not help. Oh, Tony, that's not fair. No, he lied for her. He covered for Please, her. He upped her to Tony, deceive everybody. Tony, I was trying to help. you got to believe me. I'm sorry. If you were trying to help, you should have acted responsibly at the beginning. I was doing it for the two of you. Oh, us. You know, what about Cheryl? What about Cheryl grieving over a dead baby? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. My intentions were good, Tony. Yeah, I swear. The road to, to hell's paved with your intentions. Oh, come on, Tony. Now, think about what you're saying here. Where the hell were you when she got this baby? What the hell were you doing then? Good going. Turn it around. Stop fighting, not what I'm trying to do. Stop it. I want you to think about what you're saying, Tony. Please. What, what about Clayton's operations? You had to be suspicious of it. Never Please. never consciously covered up the identity of that baby, and you both did that. Tony. And because of that, this marriage and this family is in shambles. <laughs> Don't say that, Tony. Please. Get you. <laughs> Tony, please, think about it. No, I'm not leaving. Alone. Not till you listen Tony, to some reason, upstairs. Tony. I'm not listening to you. Now you get out of here and you leave my life. Tony, I helped her because of you. Get because out. of you. Let's go upstairs now, please. Come you know, honey, I can understand why you're mad at me. But Frisco was only doing what I asked him to do. Well, he should have known better. He didn't want to do this at first. He did this because I begged him, because he loves this us. This is not about love. It's about right and wrong and lying. Are you so perfect? You know, you suspected Clayton and his whole adoption business right from the beginning, but you were perfectly willing to gloss over it because you love me. I well, Frisco and I love you. We did the same thing. I never covered up the identity of that child. Oh, why can't you accept people make mistakes? Oh, man, believe me, I have thought about it. You know, I have thought about it. I've tried to figure out why and what you did, all your justifications, your rationalizations. And you know what comes to me? Every time I think about it, I see the face of Cheryl. You stole her child. I didn't know it was her child, Tony. I found out two months ago. By then it was too late. When is it too late to tell me the truth? Tell me that. How could she come in this house? How could she come in here and you look at her and you not tell her? 
Because he's better off with us. He's not here. You don't have him anymore, so what did you get? Tony, look, right or wrong, I did what I thought was the right thing to do for our son. Now, you're his father, I'm his mother. I think he deserves all of the advantages that we can give him as a family. Nobody deserves anything that causes that much pain. Tony, Tony, don't, don't do this! Need some company? Sure, sit down. Look at this. I was just looking at this t-shirt. This is the first one that Lucas ever wore. It's so tiny. Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm okay, thanks. I want you to know that I didn't say anything to Robert. He found out on his own. I know. You're a good friend, Frisco. Well, you may not believe this, but so is Robert. I know. You do? Well, I know that it was nothing personal. He's just doing his job. Good. Well, I've been by your side through all of this. I just want you to know if you need someone to talk to or a shoulder to cry on. Me cry? Spunky Bobby Jones? No, thanks. I'm all through crying. Well, I just understand that these things are tough to get over sometimes. They're very painful. I didn't say it was over it. I just said I'm all through crying. Good. These pictures. This is always my favorite picture because he's staring straight at you. Good-looking kid. Yeah. You know, maybe it's not a good idea to to look at these pictures right now. Why not? Well, there's such a reminder of. It makes it more difficult to put that behind you. Look at this on the picnic. Remember when we all went on that picnic? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I remember. You know what we ought to do when the weather gets warmer? We ought to round up Lucas and Max and everybody, and all go on another picnic. Bobby. You can't take Lucas on a picnic anymore. That's over. Don't be so sure. What do you mean? Setbacks happen. I've had them all my life and I've overcome them. No, Bobby. This is permanent. This is a permanent setback. We'll see. Bobby, what are you talking about? Now, don't do anything silly here. What do you mean? Hey, whatever it takes. This isn't over. How's she doing? Well, she's dealing with it in her own way, I guess you could say. What does that mean? She's not going to let that kid go. This has been a terrible day. Yeah. What made us think that we could get away with this? Us? We? You. You're the one who got us into this mess. I couldn't help it. It was like quicksand. I kept getting pulled deeper and deeper into it. You still knew that Lupus belonged to somebody else. I screwed up. What can I say? You cared. Yeah, look where Karen got me. It's not about caring. It's about secrets. They always get you into trouble. That, my dear, is a fact. Always. I tried to talk to Bobby. I, I tried to talk to her. She's I know, I know, I believe you. And I had Tony in mind the whole time, both of them. I was doing it for Tony and Bobby. This isn't an I told you so. But you're going to tell me so. It's just about secrets. Please, don't do this to me anymore, okay? I won't. I promise. I promised before. I'm promising again. I 
I'll never keep secrets from you. It's too dangerous. Afraid of what I'll do to you? Yeah. Hmm? That and what it'll do to us. Look at Tony and Bobby. I know, it's awful. <laughs> Makes me so sad. Hey, come on. Everybody's sad in Port Charles, huh? I don't want you to be sad, too. Let's... Let's us have some fun.